Hello and welcome. I'm Karen Apostolina, an oncology yoga teacher with Yoga for Cancer. As part of this beginner series on oncology yoga, I want to invite you to do this short sequence with me to address the common side effect of restricted range of motion. Reduced range of motion in muscles and joints is a common side effect for many cancer patients immediately post-surgery. Long-term, it can impact quality of life as the survivor returns to their normal activities. Yet there are simple ways that yoga can provide demonstrable benefits for increasing range of motion and for providing long-term support. In this session, we will do specific poses to improve and to maintain range of motion in specific muscles and joints and in the body overall. Now let's get started. We'll start seated today, but first let's talk about the props you'll need for this session. Uh, you'll need some yoga blocks. If you don't have yoga blocks, you could substitute paper towel rolls or even the seat of a chair. And it's also nice to have something to sit up on. I'm sitting on a yoga bolster, or you could use folded blankets. All right, so we're going to start just by gently either closing the eyes or softening your gaze and taking a few nice full inhales and exhales through the nose. And as you inhale, you're letting your spine get nice and tall, keeping all of that length as you exhale. And just noticing your breath. And then if your eyes are closed, gently open your eyes and we're going to rotate our palms up toward the sky. Maybe look up where the ceiling meets the wall. As you exhale, rotate your palms down and gently let your chin come toward your chest. Let's do that again. We'll inhale and open up. And then as you exhale, we'll rotate the palms down. Thumbs will turn down toward the floor. The third time, let's lift the arms up as high as is comfortable. You may need to bend your elbows, that's fine. Eventually we bring the palms together and press them together as you exhale, hands to heart. On your next inhale, go ahead and open to a cactus position, broaden through the collarbones. And then as you exhale, pull the belly in and bring the palms together in front. Drop your chin toward your chest. Let's do that again. This is our cactus clap and it really starts to open up the chest and the shoulder area. Inhale again and we're going to take a teapot side bend. So drop your right hand down either to the block or to your yoga mat and lift your left elbow toward the sky. Good. Inhale back to cactus, broaden through the collarbones and let's take that side bend to the other side. Beautiful. And then inhale, come back to the center first, and we're just gonna stretch the arms into a V. So it can be as low, as high as you need it to be. And then we'll twist over to the right. Good, inhale back to your V position, and then just a gentle twist, feeling the rib cage, the heart and the lungs, all turning to the left. Oh, that feels good. And then come back to your V position, and exhale, bring your arms all the way back down alongside your hips. Let's do this again. Inhale, rotate the shoulders back, palms lift up, and then exhale, the palms go down, the thumbs will move toward the back wall, chin to chest. Try that again. Inhale, open up, lifting the sternum toward the sky, and then just exploring the range of motion in your shoulder joint there. Good. The third time, we're gonna turn those palms up, lift our arms toward the sky, bring the palms together, and exhale, press them in toward the heart center. Good. As you inhale, open into a cactus, and as you exhale, pull the belly in and drop the chin toward the chest. Let's do that again. Inhale, open up. So the palms will come together in the front and we're rounding the spine. Good. And coming back to the center, this time let's take our side bend to the left. So drop that left hand down, lift your right elbow toward the sky. And some of you may feel like, oh, I want to stretch my arm a little further. Feel free, but never forcing, right? Just exploring the range of motion, feeling that beautiful stretch. You can always just check it out and then go back 
to supporting the base of your skull if you like that better. And then we're gonna take our arms up into a V position. Get nice and tall here. As you exhale, we'll take our gentle twist to the left. Good, and then back to that high V, V for victory, and then take it over to the other side. Excellent. And then coming back to the V position one last time, feel the openness in your upper back, in your sternum, bring the hands together in front of your heart. Good, all right, so now we've got things warming up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and come onto our yoga blocks. So I've got my blocks here and I'm gonna use those blocks to assist me to come onto my knees. At this point, you can just take your bolster or your blanket out of the way. And we're gonna to come to a tabletop position. So that means that my wrists are under my shoulders and my knees are under my hips. And let's loosen and create some more range of motion in the spine. So as you inhale, you're gonna drop your belly, lift your tailbone and reach the crown of your head forward. This is our cow pose. As you exhale, go ahead and round your back, arch, pull the hips toward the shoulders. We're gonna go back and forth here. And ideally you're moving with your breath, okay? So that's gonna be different than mine, but you're feeling that beautiful flow of breath moving all the, all the spine, the lower back, mid back, upper back as you go into this extension and flexion. And we wanna feel the tailbone lifting up toward the ceiling, the belly dropping as we do our cow and then pressing into the floor, you go into that cat. Good, excellent. And then just walk yourself a little bit forward. Remember if your knees are sensitive, you can always put a blanket under your knees. We're gonna stretch the right leg out behind us. And then we're gonna roll the right foot down, the right heel down. Move this bottom foot, the left foot back a little bit for stability and see if you can bring your right hand up to your hip. Good, now that you're balancing here, see if you can move your hips forward a little bit and you're gonna to start to feel a nice stretch all the way through that hip there. And then you can play with the arms. We can go back to supporting the base of the skull like we did earlier or you can reach toward the sky. Take a nice full in-breath, feel your shoulder blades coming together on the back, sternum moves forward, and then release your hand back to the floor and bring your knees together. Let's do the other side. Stretch the left leg out behind you. As you're ready, you're gonna roll the left sole of the foot to the mat. Move the right foot back a little bit so it acts like a kickstand and gives you more stability. So you can really open up the chest and the hips move forward, feel that nice stretch. Option for arms, you can support the base of your skull like we did in our teapot, in our teapot side bend, or you can reach that arm toward the ceiling. Inhale and exhale here, and then go ahead and bring your hand back to the mat and your knees will come together. Just for a moment, come up onto your knees and take and interlace your fingers and just do some figure eights there to release any tension and to really feel that range of motion in your wrists. All right. Now, staying on the knees, and again, you can place a blanket or a bolster under your knees if your knees are sensitive. We're gonna go into gate pose next. So for this pose, I'm gonna take my yoga block right under my left hand. All right, and I'm gonna stretch my right foot out to the side. If your hips are very, very stiff, today you can turn your toes toward the front of the mat. Sometimes that feels easier. So I have my fingertips on the block and I'm gonna to start to lean my body over to the left. And you wanna make sure this block is really supporting you. Okay, so it is strengthening for the arms, but we wanna open up the chest as we've been doing the whole practice. And then we're gonna go into those arm variations again. So lifting the elbow toward the sky, opening up that shoulder. And then you also have an option to reach the arm alongside the ear. If you take that option, make sure that the shoulder is now rolling toward the head and reach through the fingertips. And then of course you can always move those hips slightly forward to feel more increased range of motion in that hip joint. And then bringing yourself all the way back up, let's bend the other way. So now I'll take my left hand to support the base of my skull. 
My right hand's just resting on my leg here. And boy, that feels amazing. Come on back up. Good job. And we'll do the other side. I'll just switch the block over. I'm going to place it under my right hand and I'm going to stretch my left leg out to the side. And then using the block for support, take my first bend to the right, support the base of the skull, or reach the arm alongside the ear. Make sure you roll that top shoulder. Good. Feel the connection with the foot on the floor. Move the hips slightly forward when you're ready and keep lifting the back chest into the front chest, rotating the sternum toward the sky and breathing. Let's go to the other side. Reach that elbow to the sky. So you may feel this all the way up the right side of your body. Such a beautiful stretch, such a beautiful opening for increasing range of motion. Beautiful. And then you're going to come all the way back and bringing your knees together. We're going to come back into our seated posture. So grab that blanket or that bolster, whatever you were sitting on before, and come to a comfortable seat. I hope that you enjoyed this little series of movements and I encourage you to repeat this sequence as often as possible to increase and to maintain your range of motion. And also please check out the other sessions in this Oncology Yoga series. Thanks so much for your participation and I look forward to welcoming you again.